The physics faculty in Weizmann contains about 40 to 50 uh, scientists and close to 200 graduate students. And we cover most of the uh, fields at the forefront of uh, physics, including condensed matter, uh, AMO physics, uh, high energy physics, astrophysics and astroparticle, and uh, biophysics. We are very fortunate in Weizmann to have the very best graduate students in the country. Uh, we don't have undergraduate students, so we can focus on the graduate students, we can work with them, we can collaborate with them, uh, we can teach them and learn from them, uh, and this is a lot of fun and also very productive for our research. What is very good at the Weizmann Institute, and especially in our department, in the theory department of condensed matter, is that we have a few theories working on similar subjects, not exactly the same, so they are wide enough. Another important and good thing is the collaboration with the experimentalists. So if we have an idea, we think that it should be tested experimentally, we'll go to the experimentalists. In many cases, they do the experiment or a similar experiment, they come with results, we analyze together the results, and uh, we improve our theory and then come back with, no, we should do this, we should do that. This is really a unique situation of the, our department of fundamental matter, the collaboration between theory, theorists and experimentalists. Weizmann is a unique place that encourages multidisciplinary research. It combines experts from many different fields in physics, chemistry and biology and encourages them to work together. We are trying to capture the fastest phenomena in nature. Atoms inside molecules and electrons inside atoms. Atoms and electron dynamics evolve on a typical time scale which is between a millionth of a billionth of a second down to the billionth of a billionth of a second. We use a unique laser source and this is a laser source that emits the light in short bursts, in short flashes. In my laboratory, I have a very sophisticated system that emits the light in short flashes where the duration of each flash is about a millionth of a billionth of a second. I came to Weizmann to be a part of the exciting research environment here. There's a certain creativity and boldness to the research that I hadn't observed in other places. And thanks to this, I've really been able to carve out my own, my own niche in research, which I think is very important for a scientist at the early stage of their career. Here at Weizmann, we've developed this uh, unique technique that allows us to spatially image the electric fields in materials in regimes that have previously been inaccessible. Uh, so recently, we used this uh, tool to study how the changes in the crystal structure of a material can influence the way electrons flow through a material. We think that this technique can be uh, nicely applied to characterizing new types of transistors, also perhaps uh, understanding how solar cells work. In my lab, we, we study quantum mechanics in the nano world. In the nanoscale, small particles like atoms and electrons obey quantum mechanic laws and form spe very spectacular phases that you don't see in the usual classical world. And what we do is to use the most perfect material that nature gave us, which is the carbon nanotube, as a very clean laboratory to realize these unusual phenomena and explore their physics. Our research is driven by pure science, but on the quest to learn how nature works on the smallest scales, we learned how to perfect carbon electronics, and this might have very important implications, practical implications, starting from building the smallest component for future quantum computers, and going all the way for making the most sensitive charge detector that can boost the production of silicon wafer paths. I like to do uh, imaginative research, for example, research on invisibility, and invisibility is an optical illusion and like a mirage in the desert and like all optical illusion it's made by bending light. There clearly is some magic uh, at the Weizmann Institute and, and that magic might be inspiring for magical applications like uh, imaging, invisibility, black holes as well. So it's a very creative place and it's, it's driven by the students who are here. So they are they're very open-minded and uh, it's a pleasure to work with them and then to take crazy ideas further and see what you can produce with it. 
The interaction with the student is fantastic and, and not once a week or so, but it's uh, on, a, on an hourly or minute basis that, that I work with them continuously all the time. And for students, I think it's very good because you get an excellent basis here. And for them, the future is not necessarily Weizmann. The future for them is all the industry, all academia, going overseas initially, possibly for a postdoc, hopefully coming back to the academia. But I think he, we give her an excellent, I would say, base to continue on.